Couple of days ago on this channel, we played the 1 vs 7 as Gonzo against 7 Heart Armies in BFME 1 and after that, we also played Isengard against 7 Heart Rohans, but today is the day in which the Age of Man is over. The Age of the Orcs has come. We are gonna play the Moro faction against 3 Heart Gondors and 4 Heart Rohans. As Sauron would like to say, And yeah, we are gonna build an army worthy of Mordor. Let's get it started, guys. I think this is gonna be a really, really tough one because, I mean, the idea behind this one is we're gonna play the evil faction Mordor against only good factions, but I'm not gonna make it only Rohan or Gonzo. I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Hard armies all around the place. Gonna start with Gollum. We're gonna build the Orc Pit and also one Slaughterhouse, guys. Actually, I need to cancel this one because we won't have the money we need to buy these lumber mills really fast. And we are gonna try to build an army worthy of Mordor. Oh, <laughs> I'm not on point today, guys. It's my first game of the day. And early on, it's gonna be really, really hard for us until we get some trolls on the field, until we get some Nazgûls and even the Witch King on the field. After that, we should be, I think, fine. I'm not gonna be able to creep this. When you press shift and then left click with the mouse on the orcs, because they cost nothing, you can actually build five of them at the same time. Alright, Mordor is a really, really uh, strong army, we know that. Uh, but we need to scale with the Mordor faction into the mid to late game. That's very, very important. We're gonna make some more Lumber Mill workers, guys. Lumber Mills, they're gonna give us the wood bonus, which is gonna allow us to build the buildings 10% cheaper. And let's actually scout the area now. We have to survive the early game, which is the most important thing. And as Moro, unlike Isengard, you want to build slaughterhouses, because slaughterhouses are going to give you the uh, food bonus, which is going to reduce the cost of your trolls and mummer kills significantly. Alright, the Rohan here, by the way. And on the other side, let's check, let's check with Gollum and scout this area. Alright, we are cash floating. Cash floating is bad. We need to definitely make sure uh, to not cash load, to always build in time. Alright, the goblin lay, I'm not gonna kill it. I'm gonna actually leave it on the ground. This way, maybe it's gonna help me out a little bit. And there is another Rohan at the bottom right side. We are cash looting again. And soon we need to keep making some towers, guys, for defense. But I wanna build one more slaughterhouse before that. The good thing here on this map. Oh, look at this guy. He has already Rohit him. I have to make towers, definitely. Already. And again, the wood bonus is coming in clutch in those kind of situations. We're gonna build everything, including the sentry towers, 10% uh, cheaper. Uh, let's make some more towers. Column has been taken down. Um, and our orcs are no... Look at this. He's already sending Rohirrim forward, guys. Like a madman. We have to try to get the um, industry unlocked from the PowerPoint spellbook as soon as possible. And I'm happy that I was making towers already. Imagine us making towers 10 seconds later, we would be losing everything because unlike furnaces from the Isengard faction, the buildings from the Moro faction, the slaughterhouses in this case, are very weak. So this spot is gonna be saved for the troll cage. Troll cage is gonna be the key to victory here. And that's the only way of building an army worthy of Mordor. Uh, we can choose uh, Tainted Lands because I wanna get to industry unlocked as soon as possible. We can also spam Tainted Land around our base, because Tainted Land is not going to give us only leadership, which means 40% armor for the allied units on top of that, but also it's nullifying the enemy leadership. So the enemy units are going to be slightly weaker when they are on our Tainted Land. That's why building it around your base, it should be fine. Alright, the Troll Cage is coming up now, we're going to just make some more orcs, because the good thing here for the Mordor faction is we're going to get power points as we are losing our orcs as well. And luckily, the opponent players, they were not able to kill our Lumber Mills just yet, so we have a great amount of resource income. Look at this, guys. And first of all, I'm assuming we should try to get the Witch King on the field. He was also able to creep this Goblin Lair. Yeah, Witch King is the way to go here, by the way, because Witch King, unlike the Nazgul, also gives you leadership in a large area, by the way. So I'm gonna go slowly but surely here, you know, one for one. And again, as you can see, the mountain trolls, they cost now only 840 because we have six slaughterhouses 
If you don't have any slaughterhouses, they would cost 1,200 each. Which is pretty expensive, if you ask me. Alright, the Orcville is level 2. I'm just making the orcs to buy some time, you know? They are not gonna add too much to the table right now. We might need some combos later on. But I wanna get the power points unlocked. I will have the industry unlocked soon. There we go, beautiful. And the first mountain troll, ladies and gentlemen, is joining the battlefield. But Gondor is sending some help to his ally. Uh, I'm gonna make one more troll. Alright, let's 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 try to deal with these archers, shall we? Oh, more archers are coming from the Gondor player. The Rohan player is making some peasants. Run them down, Mr. Troll. The Mountain Troll. Slap, slap, slap. We have enough power points now for the Eye of Sauron, which, by the way, gives also leadership to our Mountain Troll. Eat, eat, maybe? Can you eat? Can you eat? Can you eat? Nice. This way we can heal up our troll again to full HP and just keep pushing now. Uh, we should just be careful. You can also eat slumber mill workers, guys, by the way. Oh, but that's gonna be bad. He has even combos now, and I think our troll is gonna be taken down. I'm not cash floating. We are trying to save for the Witch King, just for you to know. And Witch King is gonna be great. We have already one more troll. The troll cage is level 2. We're gonna need some drama trolls later on. Trust me on that one. Drama Trolls are the best sportive units in the game because they give you 50% damage, 50% armor, but also 200% combat experience, which is great. Okay, now we're gonna make the first Drama Troll. I'm always using shortcuts. You can also, you know, kind of need to remember them. Uh, drama Troll R and the Mountain Troll T. The Arches are dealing so much damage to my towers for some reason. But I'm not gonna demolish it. I'm just gonna wait for my Drama Troll and the Witch King. This is gonna be a huge power spike for our army, trust me. Luckily, he's not killing our Lumber Mills. I mean, I'm happy with that. I might I might also go for... No, I'm gonna actually save for the Darkness. I mean, our eco is not looking that bad. I was actu actually expecting it to be worse. And we didn't get punished too much for our early... Uh, for our weak uh, early game. Okay, Witch King is now here on the field, guys, which is dope. We're gonna make some more trolls. Because I don't wanna waste too much time. Is they're gonna make some catapults, you know, more combos, archers, rangers, and even, even heroes. Remember, Rohan is able to have some great and cheap counter against our Witch King as well. Her name is Eowyn. Fire upgrade purchase on these archers, but they have luckily no armor. Oh, that's what I mean. Like, you see rangers all around the place with fire upgrade purchase already. Make more trolls, definitely. I'm actually gonna cancel or demolish one of our slaughterhouses, guys, and make one more, um, one more troll cage, so we can keep spamming trolls left and right. Okay, we're gonna kill this trebuchet, very important, because trebuchets, they are very strong against pretty much everything. He's gonna use this, that's Aomi, I was scared for a single second, really, I was scared for a single second, because it, if this would be Eowyn, our witch king would be dead by now. Okay, Witch King is giving leadership again in a big area. And it's a great and significant leadership, guys, from the Witch King. 50% more damage and armor is always nice. You're gonna use Industry once again on these three slaughterhouses. You wanna always make sure to use at three in your main castle. In a middle camp, you can also use it on every single building. Let's give them trees, because with the trees, they're gonna deal area of effect damage. They're gonna be able to hit multiple units at once. The only downside by, you know, using the trees is you won't be able to use to find an Orc to eat ability anymore. But it's fine, I'm assuming, because with this much leadership and combat experience, uh, we should be fine. So we're gonna send the Drama Troll forward, because unlike... Wait a second, I don't wanna lose my Witch King. Uh, because unlike uh, the normal trolls, they are uh, this drama troll is not able to charge, which is very very important to keep in mind. I think we're gonna attack the first target already. Always send the drama troll first forwards because the trolls they will, they will always be able to catch him up, but not the other way around. Okay, let's attack this Rohan player next to our side, at the bottom right side. We, gonna, we wanna always keep Witch King with the army. You wanna always make sure that your units have the leadership they need. Theoden, let's see if Theoden can survive this. I don't think so. <laughs> the trolls are hitting like an absolute truck. We need to kill the trebuchet with our uh, Witch King. Alright, Eomi has been taken down as well. 
I have darkness now, guys. Darkness all around the place. There we go. That's a massive power spike now. Witch King has to be a little bit closer. Let's break the wall first. Kill the arches right after. We can also use Screech. Actually, let's go inside the jeans, guys, shall we? Let's go inside the jeans. Is this gonna be enough to finish off this base? We have massive leadership. We need to make sure to move the eye. Drama Troll doesn't want to join the battlefield for some reason. I'm gonna just try to focus down the buildings. He has a lot of towers around the base, so... If we don't kill the buildings just in time, we might not be able to finish him off. The Eye of Sauron. The trolls are buggies from time to time. They're kinda annoying to control, but you can see them glowing bright, you know, shining bright like a diamond, guys. Our Drama Troll, we need to try to keep him alive. Always make sure to move with the Eye. I wanna disengage a little bit with the Witch King. Oh, he has even Gandalf. Oh, this guy's wizard blasting our trolls on the ground. Witch King, take your revenge from the movies. Oh, he healed him. Okay. Right. Can we finish off the space, though? I think we can, right? But the drama troll has been taken down. It's a massive leadership now. We're gonna miss. And let's make some more trolls, shall we? So we, we wanna always... We, gonna, we also wanna buy this... Oh, wait a second. Something is damaging our Witch King big time. And we survive. Kill this Gandalf, maybe? Kill kill this trebuchet, please, Witch King. Please. Okay. The problem is, we are... Oh, Gandalf is gonna get one-shotted here. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> By the base. Disengage. Alright. Gonna make some towers. Because I have to be careful now with the Witch King. I think we should be fine protecting the space, kinda. In this space, we can also make furnaces. Because they have more resistance than slaughterhouses. Uh, all right, we are gonna use, lose unfortunately every single troll. I wanna wait for the for the drama troll first before we gonna move out. But once our towers are up, I think we should be fine, kinda. Uh, he's sending more and more units forward, and we're gonna lose every single troll around this side, which is kind of unfortunate. But it is how it is, guys. It is how it is. Okay, I think what we need to do now is either focus on this guy at the bottom right side or kill this Rohan player. In the middle, on the left side. And I think we need to kill this guy because he's gonna keep attacking this base, which has no protection so far. By the way, also important to mention that yeah, we have to kill this trebuchets with our witch king definitely. Waiting for the drama troll. Uh, you can also make two drama trolls, guys, because if you don't know, they're gonna give leadership to each other, um, which is very efficient because it's not about the damage they gain because they are not, you know, meant to be. The damage dealers from your army but they are much more sportive you know more like a sportive unit and the armor please 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 move 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 and by the way screech doesn't affect units when they are level two that's a nice hit i was able to kill both of them both of them at the same time now we can also the good thing about the witch king is you can actually you now fly over the mountains and get in safety and that's what you're gonna do now our base is not looking great now by the way uh, we need to move. Let's kill the tower guards first. And once our buildings are level 3, we should be fine. The archers are chasing us, by the way. Alright. Uh, kill the units, please, trolls. Okay, we need to kill this trebuchet. Trebuchet is the one which deals the most damage to our buildings. Gonna try to save the... Uh, save the citadel, which is very important. Hopefully, we're not gonna lose our witch king. We're gonna use Screech. But I was not in the range to affect the arches in the backside, which is okay, I'm assuming. Get the arches first, please. Alright. Darkness is back up, but there is no re there is no reason of us using it now. There is even a Legolas on the field. The space is in a safe spot right now, I have to say. Uh, let's send one more drama troll to the space. Keep the Witch King a little bit closer to the main army, which are the Trolls. Because only they are worthy of Mordor. I mean, sorry Gothmog, but we're not gonna make Orcs in this one, because Orcs are, yeah, they are for free, but... You know, that is the reason why they are for free, because they are really bad units. Big units, generally. This guy is spamming katas all around the place, I don't like it. But... In a situation like this... Oh, 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 Gandalf the White, Gandalf the White. Use darkness. Kill him, please. Witch King disengage. He's gonna try to kill our Witch King. Gandalf is dead. Our Drama Troll is not in position. Kill this. 
Uh, archers, so Witch King can approach once again. We're gonna remake the towers we lost. Make the furnaces, because again, they are much tankier. So now we have two drama trolls on the field, uh, which is nice. I think we shouldn't lose any time and actually move to the Gonzo player. But I think maybe we should be waiting a little bit since our Witch King is still quite slow. Uh, I think that's gonna be the case. We're gonna just wait a little bit. Um, yeah, look, this waves of units 24 7. Let's make another army. Uh, when you are command points kept like this, you can also kind of sell your uh, orcs, you know. Kill this catapult. Kill this catapult, please. Uh, be careful with the Witch King. Let's kill the archers next to us. He is trying to kill our Witch King. Oh, look how many trebuchets this guy has around this side. In trebuchets, they don't care about your uh, leadership and about your trolls. They're gonna hit like a truck as always, you know? Okay. I mean, we lost, unfortunately, once again, every single troll. Can we kill this? Can we kill this uh, guy there? That's a big question. I hope we can. Uh, we need to definitely make some more. We can actually make one more Nazgul. Yeah, Nazguls, they don't cost command points. Oh, this Legolas is actually killing our trolls in no time. Can, oh, he's gonna kill our Witch King as well, right? There is no reason of disengaging. <laughs> that was unfortunate and really bad from my side. Sorry for that. This bottom is actually quite annoying as well. We need to revive the Witch King. Luckily, reviving the Witch King but also the Nazguls doesn't cost us anything. We want to make sure to protect the space. Um, Regulas is still on the field, but Eldin is going to die now. He healed a little bit too late. <laughs> it's good for us. Alright. Uh, let's send the orcs. We can actually cancel the orc pits because, again, orcs are just going to be a waste of our command points at this point. Let's go like this. Kill the trolls. Uh, kill the uh, trebuchets, please. Trebuchets are annoying. We have now one of the Nazgul's on the, on the field guys, which is quite nice. And you see that? They are able to knock our units down on the ground all the time, which is very unfortunate and annoying. But luckily we have our Balrog unlocked. Okay, Felbis is here. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, I think we can try to kill this Legolas, but I think it would be also a little bit too risky. Alright, so... Uh, what we can do now is we can use I plus Balrog right in front of the base. Like this. And I think we will need the help of our Nazgûls to be able to finish off the space. But this can be like a tutorial also now about how to finish off the on the base with nothing else but Balrog. Let's see if we can still do it. Oh, it was, I think that's not the best. It's fine. Five buildings are the dream. Legolas, please stop attacking our... I mean... Our Nazgûls, please. All right, we kill the well with one hit and fly. And as we fly, we're gonna use ignite. That's the trick with Balrog, because then he can he can use the ignite the second he lands. And that should be enough, I think, to finish off this base, right? Yeah, should be enough. Look how much damage those trebuchets were able to deal to us, actually. But I think they won't be able. Alright, and the Gondor player at the bottom right side has been defeated. I think Gondors are a little bit more annoying than the Rohans. Uh, just because... Just because uh, they have the trebuchets, you know? Which are dealing massive damage to us. We actually killed all the towers around the base, which is quite annoying. We should be just waiting for the Witch King to be joining the battlefield once again. No, reviving the Witch King doesn't cost you any money, but it costs you a lot of time. And Witch King is your most important hero slash unit you want to always keep alive. Very, very important. So let's group with the trolls. We have only... We have not many trolls, actually. Let's make a furnace there in the front side so it's tankier. All right. Let's go like this. Beautiful. I mean, I, I'm not scared of these archers because once our towers is, uh, are up, we are going to be good to go. There is also Gimli on the field, but I think Eowyn... Please kill Eowyn before she kills us. Nice one. That's good. There is also Aragorn on the field. 
Um, we can go for Scavenger, which means whenever we will, we will be able to kill enemy units, we're gonna get some money. Which is very good. Uh, let's go like this maybe, right? Yeah. Witch King is back in the business, so we can now group with this army. We have also Darkness available as well as I by the time we're gonna reach this base. And we're not gonna lose much more time and actually move forward immediately. We can also make like... Uh, if we, I Just for you guys, I wanna make some Mooma kills. <laughs> let's make some Mooma kills, why not? Okay, Industry, we can use this now on this base. Because Industry is gonna also speed up the progress of your furnaces hitting level 2 and level 3 faster. Okay, let's go. Yes, we'll hit him now with upgrades, but what can they do against such a reckless hit? Plus 15 for every single kill of, on this... Uh, on this, we'll hit him. By the way, also quick uh, tip for you guys. Uh, you need to make sure to not attack with your drama trolls. Because if they attack, they don't give you leadership. So just dance around with them. Otherwise, they're gonna automatically attack. And once they attack... They don't give leadership anymore. Very, very important to keep in mind. Alright, we have darkness available. I'm gonna use I this way. This look how far how, how I mean how hard they're gonna hit now. Like an absolute truck. Also, you can check me out on my Twitch channel, guys, Twitch TV slash beyond standards. Uh, if you wanna see more BFME content in the live stream, would appreciate that a lot. Uh, we are hosting tournaments for BFME 2, for Rise of the Witch King. And this channel is like almost fully dedicated to battle for middle earth games so if you want to see more of these videos in the future would appreciate it a lot if you guys just you know, subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video as well all right just you know we don't need to do anything with the witch king look at our trolls they are level five and again just dance around with our uh rama trolls so they don't stop giving leadership <coughs> to our trolls very important and the base has been now destroyed we need some protection because this, there we go he has been defeated and once he's defeated he's gonna lose all the units now we can buy this base oh we lost our one of our nazgul's can we save this one though maybe we can looks like we can base has been taken down We're gonna make some mumma kills as promised let's go like this buy the space we can oh, what is what is Theodian doing there King of Rohan, what are you doing, my man? <laughs> Go back to the shadow. Our Balrog is almost back up, which should be enough to, you know, one shot one base. Um, again, in order to summon units in BFME 1, and actually in all Battle for Middle Earth games, you need to have vision. Without vision, you are not able to summon any units. And if you don't have any units from your side nearby to the enemy base where you want to summon your Balrog at, you can always use Eye of Sauron. Or even Tinted Land can be used on a. Like this, you know, you can use Tainted Land, it's gonna give you vision. Um, and you can use the Balrog right after. But we're gonna use now the Balrog to the next base, which is the Rohan base. And we are gonna try to defeat the base with nothing else but our Balrog base, shall we? Okay, fly inside. Ignite mid-air, which is very important. And animations, animation cancels are also important with Balrog. What I'm trying to say now with that is, you use Breath Fire. You see the animation coming and then you can immediately move. Breathfire is still gonna hit, by the way. So this way you can, you know, you don't waste time, pretty much, right? Time matters a lot uh, with Balrog Summon because your time is quite limited. And ideally you wanna be able to finish off the entire base with Balrog all alone. Okay. Aragorn, what are you doing, my friend? There are too many... Uh, let's kill this one as well. <laughs> Aragorn can't do anything about our uh, trolls at this point. And this uh, Rohan player has been defeated as well. Nice one. Now we can actually fly with the they fly with the Witch King to this base in order to buy it. Mumakia, oh, three beard and ants and everything. What's going on? Uh, all right, so just buy the space. And uh, and the ants, they don't care about our. Oh, that's like you know deja vu, guys. You watch the <laughs> Isengard against Seven Rohan videos. We had to literally kill like. 1000 ends, you know, which is uh, pretty annoying. We lost the moment kill, uh, fan. For that reason, we're gonna actually make two of them here. I mean, money is not a problem anymore, right? We have so much money, we have a lot of pieces. Problem is, we have to keep rebuilding all the time since we are losing most of the buildings 24 7. Let's move to this side. We can also use. Oh, we are actually flying over catapults and stuff. But we need to make sure to protect the space. Because the Zitter has been taken down. 
Right, so let's now move forward with our trolls. And uh, Witch King is gonna join them right after. Level 1 units, you can always use Screech. This way they're gonna get scared as you can see. They won't be able to attack you for multiple seconds. The archers, especially the rangers, are just dealing too much damn. Oh, the, oh, that might be a bad idea. Look how many ants he has once again on the field. Let's go for the epic show match, shall we? Ants against trolls, guys. Ants against trolls. Let's go, trolls. Show them who are the boss. Look, these ants are raging. Aragorn is using Elendil on top of the wall like a madman. Please. Oh, no. He killed my witch king. Alright, let's see Aragorn against our trolls. Even without witch king leadership. Now you see him. Now you don't. <laughs> All right, <laughs> right. I mean, they can't do nothing about that. I think that is just too much leadership. Please, I don't know why they are not attacking automatically. Unfortunately, you have to not waste any time but revive Witch King immediately. Very important. Look, this ends now. Bam, 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 slap, slap, slap. Just like that. Gotta move the eye. The eye is gonna give our trolls 50% increased damage and 100% increased combat experience. Let's kill this and right there as well. Slap, 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 slap. There we go. The end is down just like that. I think we won't be able to finish off the space storm, but we can now finally make some promised Uma kills. And just make it like in the movie and put some Haradrims on top of that, shall we? But I can't believe it. We're gonna lose the bases here, unfortunately. Both of them, potentially. The level 3 furnaces are doing a great job, but I think oh, there is a level 10 troll. It would be nice if I can save him. When you have a target to attack with the troll, he's gonna charge and he's gonna be way faster. Oh look, one level against three beard. Slapping, slapping him guys, slapping him. Let's save this highly level troll, shall we? This end has been taken down. And maybe we can save the space as well. I don't know, who, who knows. Boromir died anyway. Uh, to the furnaces level three. We can, I think and I hope that we can save the space as well. We have really high level trolls and they will be respawning, I mean, they will be healing up over time. Let's make one more drama troll and send the drama troll next to our Muma kills. Uh, Muma kills don't receive any, I think, they don't, they don't receive any uh, leadership from the drama troll. They do receive leadership, however, from the witch king and also from the darkness. However, the drama troll will give leadership to the Haradrim, uh, Haradrim, people from the Haradrim Palace on top of the Mumma kills. So they're gonna hit much much harder obviously, right? That's the, that's the whole premise. Oh, look how many units he has. Uh, I think this base is not gonna be saveable anymore. I don't think we're gonna be able to save this base any longer. But we have our Balrog back up. And again, we can use one of our Nazgul's to scout this area potentially. And use Balrog. So far we were able to Oh, the level 7 troll has been taken down. Look how our Mumma kills. Let's go to war, guys. Let's go. I actually want to wait until darkness is wake up, you know? Oh, 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 look at this base. Our Nazgul is dying in a second. And even the catapults the are going to even destroy our Balrog potentially. What a defense, what a camper here, by the way. One shot, little, move a little bit forward. Use breath fire. Again, cancel the animation once you see it coming like this. It was not the best breath fire, normally you want to be able to kill 5, but 4 are still enough to be able to finish off the space. Fly, and once again, mid air we want to use the ignite. It's gonna make us one shot the statue as we land. Now just move, because this is on cooldown. We need to kill this, um, and also this one in the front side, like this. Use, uh, use ignite once again. Ignite is very important because it also makes our Balrog tank here. Otherwise those katas, they would be destroying him. Now let's hope that this is going to be enough to finish off the space. Breath fire. Hopefully we're going to be able to hit both of them. Yes, we do. And the Gondo base has been defeated as well. Which is very nice. Our Witch King is back in the business. Our Drama Trolls are here. We can now make some Haradrims and put them on top of our Muma kills, guys. I think this base is in a safe spot. And we lost the Nazgul, though. We lost both the Nazguls. We need to revive them. Again, you know, reviving the Nazgul's doesn't cost you any money, but let's be honest, I think money is not a problem right now anyway. When you select your units, in this case the Drama Trolls, and you press U, you know, the U key in your keyboard, you can right-click on one of your units, 
and this this units are gonna follow now this movement kills all the time uh, which is nice in those kind of situations to make sure that your drama trolls are always nearby to your trolls or you know archers or whatsoever okay now we're gonna send the movement kills the army mighty of uh, i mean uh Warfia of mordo sorry not mighty i mean it's mighty as well though it's mighty as well okay let's move now forward we have now maximum leadership and with witch king i darkness and the drama trolls around but let's move forward now with the moment kills shall we we gotta keep those protectors of the dark city not the white city Mumma kills. I mean the tr the trolls. Let's see. I'm gonna send send them forward against this uh, Legolas, who's by the way level three, just to demonstrate you guys the power of the legendary uh, trolls. And once the once they are level ten like this, they're gonna just two shot this Legolas. Trust me on that one. All right. Now he's going ham inside the jeans. Let's see. He's shooting. He's shooting. He's shooting. They, they have no leadership right now, by the way. Um, slap 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 <laughs> just like that and imagine they have leadership you know all right so let's go guys oh that looks scary the mumo kills are going to war you can use darkness and that's gonna by the way that increases the damage by 33 the armor by 50 percent for three minutes for the entire map ladies and gentlemen which is huge if you ask me all right let's see how much damage we will be able to deal now because Mumma kills, I mean, you know, most of the units from the Moro faction, like Mumma kills, trolls, siege weapons, they are also able to destroy the wall. I mean, Moro is made to siege the enemy bases, right? Just gonna keep building some more towers here. Oh, he has ants. It's gonna be kind of annoying once again. This base is kind of in a safe spot, but you can see, you know, they are destroying everything. Let's break one more wall. And you can also use charge attack like this. And we can just trample down. Look, look, look. <laughs> Gimli. <laughs> Plus 30. <laughs> we kill Gimli in a second. Everything is gonna die in a second if you get trampled down from a Mumma kill. And we have so much leadership. And look, I don't even... Uh, guys, I don't even need to micro with the, with the drama trolls. Because we have said to them that they need to, you know, follow. Eowyn. Trample. Eowyn. No, Eowyn. She was so young, and Theodin next 90 gold for killing Theodin because of the scavenger. And look at this tankiness, and look at this damage from these Mooma kills. Yeah, this is the definition of hitting like a truck, by the, by the way, guys. This is the definition of hitting like a truck, by the way. Uh, where, are, where are our trolls, though? I wanna actually let's take a look into our trolls because I was having the trolls there. Alright. Now the defenders of the Dark City, go and take down this tree shall you? You, sh you need to do that for us. Drama trolls, you need to make sure that they don't attack, like mentioned several times. Alright. Look how many units his ally is sending to him. Oh, that's gonna be a perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at this, guys. Trample, 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 trample. <laughs> oh, that was evil love, but obviously we are playing the evil faction, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's like, that's like, you know, it's so satisfying to watch this when Mooma Kill is trampling down like the entire army from your opening, just like that. And one more hit is gonna be needed. Drama Troll is getting knocked back from this end. He's slapping, actually two-shotting. Oh, the Witch King, Witch King, Witch King, Witch King, Witch King, Witch King, please don't die, please don't die. Send him to the base if he can, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we are in a safe spot. This Mooma Kill is level 5, which means he will be healing up over time. We forgot about our trolls, but I think it's fine because they are still alive. That means the uh, Treebeard, the leader of the end, has been taken down. Alrighty, so let's build some more furnaces around this side. Uh, the army, the, I mean, Sauron, come on. Sauron, please. You know, if I would be ordering your army in the movies, you would be easily able to destroy Minas Tirith. Come on, Sauron. We need to say thank you now, because that's your revenge. That's your revenge. Okay, now we can use um, Alrock here. Oh, wait a second. The eye is not gonna give us the vision we need. Now he, is, he does. And the mighty Balrog from Moria. Again, pay attention, guys. I'm always using Ignite the second we are flying in. Oh, that was not bad. 
that was not very good because you want to land on top of that, but it's fine. Step a little bit forward like this. Use breath fire. Cancel it once you see the first fire. So you don't need to wait until the animation fully finishes. Don't want to waste time like this. And look at the time remaining. We have still so much time and this is going to be just taken down. And fly once again. Again, use ignite because you can see. He's not going to only ignite himself once he lands. So you save again animation time. But also he's going to deal damage. And look, the entire base has been taken down. We have, we have still so much time, you know. Just like this. Alright, let's send our spider space as well. Okay, where are our Mumma kills when we need some? They are here. They are healing up over time, like mentioned before. We buy, uh, we buy the, uh, the second last place, I believe. I think we have only one more base to defeat, guys, right? And for that, we're gonna make now, just for this uh, video's purpose, uh, multiple orc pits. And I'm gonna show you guys the PowerPoint ability, which is called Call the Horde, alright? So let's make this. Let's make orc pits all around the place. I mean, devastation is nice. We can use it on the trees. It's gonna give you money immediately, right? Industry is gonna be able to boost your eco uh, from selected furnaces or slaughterhouses. You can also use it on the ally space by 100%. That's double the money. Alright, so let's do this. Uh, okay. This guy is sending actually some units forwards. Rangers, by the way, are dealing bonus damage to our Mumma kills, if you don't know. Because BFME 1 is the most movie related BFME game which is existing pretty much. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys the Call the Horde. Just take a look into our command points at the bottom left side of your screen, please. Keep your eye right there, okay? Now we're gonna call the Horde, guys. That's gonna buff now every orbit of ours. And the units are gonna just pretty much spawn every single second. That's gonna be an army of the orcs we can have now under our order. As Scoffmog would like to say, the age of man is over, ladies and gentlemen. Just like this. We're gonna use darkness to make the orcs really strong. They have also the leadership from the Witch King, obviously. During all this time, we are sneaking our Muma kills to the last remaining base at the top right side. Okay. I mean, we were, by the way, we were playing against three Gondors and four Rohans, if you are uh, wondering. We are command points gap, that's why we are not able to recruit any more units. Unfortunately, the only annoying thing here is, let's use charge attack. The only annoying thing here is, can he do it before he dies? No, he can't, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, so let's use charge attacks. We have so many now, we can use multiple times charge attack. Our witch king, oh, 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 this guy is charging. Use our Nazgul's to kill the trebuchets on top of the wall. Because again, trebuchets are really annoying to deal with. Break the gates. Kill this trebuchet there as well. Alright, we broke the gate. Let's go inside the gene, shall we? And this has to Gandalf. Mighty Gandalf from Middle Earth. Can he survive? Nope. <laughs> nope, he can't. Question answered. We need to kill this trebuchet there as well. This Nazgul is taking way too much damage. We need to kind of try to save him. Witch King is still healthy. I mean, it's gonna be still tough, I think, to finish off this base, right? Because uh, there are too many buildings and stuff like this. But where are our orcs? Yeah, exactly. We need to send our orcs inside the jeans as well, right? Yeah. Right. One of our Nazgul's has been taken down, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna revive them again for free. And the mighty orcs are coming now. We can use charge attack one more time on these rangers maybe, as they are actually dealing so much damage to us. Oh, charging, nice one, beautiful. And orcs are arriving now just in time. For the glory days of the Moro faction in battle for Middle Earth 1. On the map, all brown ends, 1 vs 7 as Mordor. With no walls, by the way, no walls needed. No walls, no problem. And for the glory days of tomorrow, for the last enemy remaining, is we are all about to destroy his base. We are gonna call no one else, no one less, but the mighty Balrog from Moria himself, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. He's, fly he's gonna fly inside the jeans now. 
And that's gonna be it. We, were, we will be able to finish the game with a be beautiful breath fire from the legendary Balrog. As we're gonna kill our own Mumakas. <laughs> Let's do it. By the way, that's friendly fire on. You can see we are killing our own stuff. But GG! I mean, we deserve the victory again. We played a great game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this was enjoyable, if you like the content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace guys.